Hi guys, I'm going to go over your assignments for um, April 27th. So for journalism, this is kind of what I'm looking to do for the entire rest of the school year, just to kind of give you a heads up. We did the zigzag newspaper. We did um, an advertisement. You found an advertisement and answered questions. This week you're doing a Google drawing to create an advertisement, and I'll explain that in a second. You're going to make a Flipgrid commercial next week. And then for the last week, you're going to find an article um, that you find interesting and kind of report all about it on YouTube. So I'm going through it in chunks. If something happens, uh, you know, and, and you guys have a lot of work and maybe you're not turning stuff in, I'll probably take the last one out and try to make it, try to simplify it a little bit. But that's what I'm hoping for. I originally wanted to do a, um, make a, a web but we have such a limited time together that I really can't have all the fun that I want to with you guys. All right, so this week, this is what you're doing. Uh, I summarized it, I'm creating this video to show you what you're gonna do, but you're going to log into Classcraft. If you haven't done so already, please do. You get points for logging in and you're competing for prizes. Uh, watch the video on slide two. I created a short kind of mini lesson on what ethos, pathos, and logos is. That way you don't have to refer to the previous weeks. You can just look at this week's just a reminder of what it is um, because you will be needing it this week. And you're going to watch, of course, this YouTube video or this um, YouTube video that I'm creating right now. And then, so you're going to create an advertisement using Google Drawing this week. And I'm going to post it directly onto your assignments so you don't have to find Google Drawing. I don't know how many of you are familiar with it or not. So I'm going to try to explain a little bit how to use it just so that you know what to do. But there's three things that I'm looking for when you're creating your Google Drawing. Number one, you must use a picture from your house or from your home, a picture of you, a picture of your dog, a picture of whatever. You don't have to be in the picture. But I don't want you to steal somebody else's advertisement and say, uh, oh, I'm advertising this shampoo and have it be that you just stole the ad off Google. It needs to come from you. You are creating the advertisement. And you could be funny. It could be you can advertise an old sock, saying that you're selling an old sock, whatever it is that you want to create an advertisement for. Um, so on the top of the page, you're going to tell me, is it ethos, pathos, or logos? Are, did you use someone famous? You could look up famous people and post them on, but you do whatever you're selling has to be from home. It has to be a picture you find in the house. Uh, pathos, maybe you took a picture of your dog when he was sad and you're pretending that um, you're trying to get people to adopt dogs and maybe you're using pathos. Um, logos, uh, you could write a bunch of different uh, statistics on about what you're trying to sell. Maybe it's a picture of your Crest toothpaste whatever it is that you can find in your house. Have fun, be creative. Uh, so what I did is I used my phone. I took a picture of my dogs on their poof and I'm gonna show you what you can do. So I uploaded it from my phone, I uploaded it to the drive, up to my drive. And then I sent the drive or so I could grab it from here. So this is what your assignment looks like. It's a blank slate. Is it ethos, pathos, or logos? So I'm going to insert the picture that I found. So an image, if it's on my computer, I could do that. Mine's on my drive. Um, but you could even use the camera from your Chromebook to take a picture. So you can do that too. You have different options. If you upload it to your computer, you can do that. So this is my picture. Don't worry about the little boxes. The boxes are just so that you can put it in the center. So insert. So those are the babies. See, but look, if I was to print out the picture, I don't want you to print it out, but look, if I put file print, the boxes disappear. So the boxes are just so that you can get it straight. So that's my little bear. And that's technically my sister's pug, but I watch her all the time. So let's say I'm trying to sell the poof that they're on. So I can make it ethos, pathos. I could put a famous person in there. So let's say I wanted to insert a famous person. I'm going to do ethos, okay? Uh, but you could use whatever you want. So I'm going to search, search the web. 
I'm so bad at famous people. Let me see. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to spread spell it right. Okay, yeah. Ariana Grande. There we go. Everyone knows who she is. So I'm going to stick her on there. Insert. So I click on her and I insert it. And I want you to play with this, okay? So I'm going to put a picture of my dogs. And then I'm going to put, this is ethos because I'm I'm using a famous person to sell my product. So I'm just going to put ethos on the top. I don't need pathos, logos, all that stuff. I'm just going to put ethos because of Ariana Grande. Okay, so I have this. So then I'm going to say, okay, so now I'm going to insert, you can insert word art, you can insert a text box, you can use the text box that I created. So I'm going to use word art because that's pretty. So let's see. Um, I spell her name wrong. Ariana uses the, I'm going to just call it the golden poof. The golden poof for her dogs dogs so should you so should you ariana uses the golden poof for her dog so should you okay so this is what i'm using this is my slogan okay so so again i'm using famous people to sell this let me change i'm going to change the color and make it blue i'm gonna let's see scrunch it so that it fits Trying to make it bigger. Ariana uses famous friends, so should you. So then I'm going to hit, I'm just gonna copy it. And then I'm gonna say, so how much is the poof? Let me see. Ariana Grande is using it. I'd probably want to uh, make it, I don't know. Let me say 50 bucks. So 50 bucks. So my advertisement, I'm just showing you the different things you can do with it. I want yours to be much better than mine. But see, I put ethos on the top. I would probably try to make that a little better. Remember, it's supposed to be an ad. Okay, ethos. So Ariana uses the golden poo for her dogs. So should you. So then I have a picture of supposedly her dogs. But of course, they're my dogs because it came from me. And then Ariana Grande. So this is ethos. This is an example of ethos. Um, so if I was to print it, don't print it. I don't need you to print it. But it would come out like that. And it's an advertisement. Now, I expect you guys to do a whole lot more. You can have fun. You can add color. Play with the boxes. Play with inserting things. Make it beautiful and pretty. Mine, I'm just showing you how to use some of the main tools that you'll need. But you could put as many pictures as you want. If you could, you could sell me your dirty sock or try to sell a dirty sock if you want. Whatever you want. You can make it fun. You can make it sad. You can make it, just make it awesome. All right. So that's how you use um, this tool, uh, Google Drawing. And then you submit your product so I could see at the end. So once your assignment is up, um, you'll just hit submit so I can see your finished product. So that's all you're doing for this week. So if we go back. So you're creating a Google drawing. Like I said, the picture must come from your house or home. You take a picture of something. Um, it could be anything on the top of the page. Tell me if it's ethos, pathos, or logos. And you have fun with it and be creative. And you get an easy assignment for it, an easy grade. All right, you guys. And then just like last week, or I've been doing every week, I always post Fun Fridays. I have quizzes. Um, and those quizzes are for, what do you call it? Just extra points on Google Classroom. Or sorry, on Classcraft. That'll give you extra points on Classcraft. And that's all I have for you this week. If you have any questions at all, um, please reach out to me. My my information is on slide four. And like I said, just reach out. Let me know that you need help. All right, guys. Thank you very much. I'll see you.